Yo everyone, this is Risa. This is going to be a very special makeup tutorial. If you're too lazy to wear makeup on a daily basis or you don't want to cake your face holes with makeup, I'll be showing you the easiest way to get perfect skin. With airbrushing. This can be done on most raster graphics editing programs such as Photoshop, GIMP, and you name it. As a side note, I don't think there's anything wrong with photoshopping a model and now you can do it too. So, first up, open your face in the program you're using. Duplicate that layer by clicking here. Two good tips from now on is to make sure that you've selected and are working on the right layer and making sure that your image has a alpha channel if you didn't already. Right click the layer and click on here to turn it on. Next up, select your smudge tool and use a high rate above 50 and a floofly brush. Then, smudge over your trouble spots such as acne, dark circles, blemishes, scars, shiny spots. What you want to do is smudge away all of the harsh lines and discolorations so that your skin colors melt together. A thing to watch out for, though, is to not smudge away all the shadows away just yet, because that takes away the depth and contouring of your face and leaves you looking kind of like these really bad edits, as well as not matching your neck. Now that your skin is all smudged, duplicate this layer and you're now going to fix the colors. Chances are, just changing the lighting will actually brighten it and smoothen out your features. For example, in this image I'm working on, there's a nasty yellowish hue from the incandescent light bulb in my room, and smudging my face made it super red. Three common ways to adjust colors are brightness contrast, color balance, and levels. It will be a trial and error to see which one works best. See the description below for some quick tips on color fixing choices. Next, in this same duplicated layer, crop out just the features you want airbrushed since you'll be affecting an entire facial feature layer, but you probably don't want, for example, your clothes or your background props to be altered the same way. To make sure that your face still fits into your hair or body though, just smudge away all the harsh crop lines again. Keep going back and forth between smudging and adjusting the lighting to achieve the amount of airbrushing you want. Once you're done with that, if you want to go on to the next step to add ultra pizzazz to really enhance your face as well, you can largen and sharpen your eyes, you can use the dodge tool to add other shadows and highlights, and you can add filters if you really want to define your features. And that's it! I kind of liked making this, so let me know if you want another digital makeup tutorial from me. Thanks for watching everyone! Let me know in the comments what you look forward to or want to see. So subscribe to find out what's next. Share the love and give this video a thumbs up.